Bye, go away now. Have fun at the Monopoly Go convention. Be safe and remember, no parties. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Get lost. Have fun. Yes, they're gone. Hey, girlies. Yep, 8 p.m. See you then. Bye. Now time to get rid of my loser sister. Oh, my gosh. Brent, fire. Fire. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get out of here. Quick, quick, out your window. Go, 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 go. There's no fire. I know there's not. <laughs> One idiot. Hold on, did my mean sister just kick me out of the house by faking that there was a fire? You can't be serious. Brenda, wait, hey! Brenda, did you lock me out? Well, is the door locked? Yeah, it is! Well, then I guess I did. What the? Brenda! Oh, you know what? She probably wasn't smart enough to lock the back door. All right, here we go. Oh, haha, <laughs> too slow. Brenda, come on, this isn't funny. Yeah, it is. Later, loser. Wait, hold on, where are you going? Brenda, whoa, 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 hold on. What are you doing? Get out of my way. Brenda, this isn't funny. You can't kick me out. Where am I supposed to stay when mom and dad aren't here? The street? I don't know, figure it out. It's not my job. If I catch you inside the house, Instagram will have a field day with your diary. My diary? No, no, no. You don't have my diary, do you? Dear diary, today, March 13th, 2024. No, no, Brenda, please stop. Stop reading it. Then get out of my way. Wait, I can't be homeless for the weekend? If only there was a place that I could go and hide from my mean sister. Hold on. My mean sister never goes outside. What if I build a tiny treehouse to hide from her? She hates nature. There's no way she would find it. I think this could work. Let's get started before she comes back. Okay, so we are gonna have to find the perfect spot for a tree house. Oh my gosh, what about this insane massive tree over here? That could be the perfect space for my tiny tree house. We are gonna need a bedroom, a living room area, a bathroom, a kitchen, and well, probably a gaming setup if I'm gonna have to live out here forever, or at least till my parents come back at the end of the weekend. So let's get started with our layout, shall we? The tree right here is gonna probably be like the base of the whole build. So let's get that layout started. We're for sure gonna have to add a few more trees around to kind of like camouflage. So we'll do like stairs to the secret door. So let's add that first. And I feel like the perfect stairs for a tree house would be like a spiral staircase. So I think we'll start building the wall. So this area here will kind of be like the main living area. And it's a funky shape, but I kind of want to do like a little porch, right? I think that would be so cute. So for that, we're going to need a fence. Do we do like a rope fence? I feel like that like screams nature, right? And then we're gonna have to build a door. Okay, cute. Oh my gosh, I love it so much already. I know that we kind of want to do like a rustic blend in with the scenery vibe out front, but I definitely want the inside of my treehouse to be like super cute and cozy. So I'll probably want a different floor texture than like what we put outside. Awesome, we have our floor and now time for our roof. Oh my gosh, okay, I love it, super cute. Now what color should I paint the outside? Should we do like a stone, do you think? Or no, no, no. If we want it to blend in, we should probably do a wood. Let's paint the outside super fast. Boop, boop, boop. Cool, now on to the inside. So I think what we'll probably do is I will make like this little back area here, the bathroom, and then we're gonna do like our little bed area here. And I'll probably have to do a loft bed because there's not a lot of space. And then the rest of the area will be all the kitchen and kind of like living room area. Now let's paint the inside. So I think the bathroom is going to be a total like nature vibe. And I'm gonna do stone walls and oh gosh, the floor again, I gotta fix that. <laughs> We gotta separate it so this way I can have a different like tile in the bathroom and then probably a wood or a carpet in the rest of the living area. <gasps> Wait, a pebble. I feel like that's a better texture. Cool. Now comment below, what color should I do the walls? I mean, if we're sticking on theme for treehouse, I'll do a smooth plastic for the base in white. Okay, here for this already. It's giving woods, kind of. I mean, it's giving my version of woods. I've gone camping before and it is really fun, but I'm more of like a, a glamping person, if you know what that is. Or for the floor, we'll do, oh, oh no, that looks banana. Oh, that looks even scarier. Oh my gosh, uh-oh. We might have to <laughs> rework this floor again. This is like such a problematic floor. Please hold. Okay, cute, wait a second. What the heck is that noise? 
I gotta go check that out. Hey, hey, hey! DoorDash for Brenda! What the? Is that the DoorDash driver? Oh my gosh! Whoa! Wait, uh, how did I teleport into your garage? Oh my, good, good question. Awkward. Yeah, you can say that again. How can I help you? Are you Brenda? No. That's my sister. Why? Well, I got a food order for her. Well, I'm sorry, but she is not home at the moment. And uh, I'm kind of locked out. Can you teach me how you glitched into my house? No biggie. I can leave the food here in the driveway for you. Uh, okay, I guess. Oh my pineapples. How did Brenda order this much food? And why? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh Ew, Brent, why are you still here? Oh my gosh, Brenda, why do you care about that? You literally just drove over all this food. What are you up to? It's none of your business. Now be useful for once and get me another DoorDash order. No way, I'm not helping you. Do it yourself. Oh, okay, so you want me to post your diary online. <clears throat> Dear diary. Ah, fine, fine, fine. Okay, can I at least take your... Car. Oh my gosh, I, I think this thing is literally stuck. That looks like a you problem. Have fun walking. What the heck? No, Brenda, I'm not walking all the way to Bloxy Burger from here. That's like two miles. Ew, stop complaining and go. I don't believe Brenda. Now we have all this like smushed food in our driveway. She is crazy. And I also really have to get my diary back. Okay, finally, we made it to Bloxy Burger. Oh. Excuse me, Princess. Hey, Hi, um, I'd like to place an order for takeout. Drive through only. Wait, hold on. What? Why? There's like a whole line of people in here. I may have cut them, but uh, there's a whole line. Drive through only. Oh, fine, whatever. Okay. Let's try the drive through. Hi, I'd like to place an order for takeout. Sorry, I can only take your order if you're in a vehicle. Wait. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I don't have one. Come on, please. I'm standing literally right here in front of you. And no Bloxy Burger for you. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Come on, please. Can you, like, break the rules just this one time? Well, if I break the rules for you, I gotta break the rules for everyone. I'm sorry. Next customer. There literally is no more customers in the drive-thru. I feel like a Karen right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm kind of having a crazy day, and I don't mean to be taking it out on you. Well, um, can, can you just get lost? Maybe I can just go to the grocery store and buy some pre-made burgers and my sister won't know the difference. All I know is I have to get back home and work on my tiny tree house. I don't want to be homeless. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I know. I don't really want to go either, but apparently Harry Styles is going to be there. Since when does Brenda know Harry Styles? Hold on, wait. They're talking about my sister. Hey, excuse me, Amber. Um, Are you talking about Brenda Plays? Ew, Amber, a poor girl is talking to us? How do we respond? Oh my gosh, Danielle. How should I know? I make my butler talk to all the poor people for me. Y'all realize I'm, like, right here. Ah, she spoke again! Let's get out of here! Come on! Right behind you! Wait a second. Okay, that was really rude. Brenda's definitely up to something. But I gotta get her stupid food, then get her out of the house, and then finally finish building. Oh, this day has been crazy. Okay, so it's not exactly the burger she wanted, but it's an adorable heart-shaped pizza from Pizza Planet. Wait a second. Someone's in build mode at my house? No, 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 no. It's Brenda! What is she doing? What if she saw my tree house? Uh, Brenda, hey, sis, I, uh, got you your food. Oh my gosh, yay! Is it gluten, vegan, dairy, sugar, free? Uh, I don't know, it's pizza. But I'm not eating it. Go away now, bye. What is Brenda doing? I really wanna figure this out, but y'all, I can't pop into build mode also on the plot because then she'll get a notification that I'm in build mode too. You know what, maybe I'll just spy on her and see what she's doing. Is she gonna dance floor in there? What is she up to? Wait, a balloon arch. Please buy a balloon arch. Okay, give me the food. Wait, hold on. Brenda, I thought you didn't want the pizza. Well, I changed my mind. Now give it to me. Oh, you idiot. Do I have to do everything around here all by myself? You are the worst. You ruined everything, Brittany. I hate you. Hey, that was really mean. I don't care. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Well, I guess the good news is that Brenda's gone. About time. Gotta work on this treehouse. Okay, now that Brenda's gone, I'm really curious as to what she was doing. So, um, let's take a look, shall we? Okay, oh, oh, wow. 
She was definitely getting ready for a party. The balloon arch. <gasps> that DJ booth is low-key wicked cool. And a disco ball. Hey, where did she get that? And why does she need all this stuff anyway? You know what? Never mind, Britt. Mind your own business. Get back to the treehouse. Now, I think a super important thing that I need is going to be security cameras. So that way I can spy on my sister. And if she somehow magically finds my treehouse, I'll have plenty of time to escape her. Seems pretty secure to me. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a professional, but I am a professional at trying to hide from my sister. So with that being said, let's get back into the tree house. I for sure want to have plenty of room for a bathroom door, which I think looks really, really cute over there. Yeah, I think we do a lot. Here we go. Okay, so for right now, we are gonna test it and make sure that I can put a refrigerator behind it or under it, technically. Oh, we got plenty of room for a fridge. So I think that should be the right height. So I'm basically gonna take the same basic shape. Okay, cool. We have this friend. That will be our first step. And then we'll copy, make a second step, a third, a fourth. Sweet. Okay, that looks good. Now onto the bed. But let's do a super cozy bed. And now we are going to need a bedside table. But my bed will be like a white wood and then everything else will be like a pink or a black. Put a blanket and then do I put another blanket too? Cause I don't know about you, but you can just never have too many blankets. So now we have to add cozy, cozy pillows. And I want this to sort of be like a day bed where I can just like come up and chill, kick back, relax, game. Okay, I'm gonna need a lamp for sure. So let's add that. I kind of like the salt lamp. Now I'm definitely gonna have to build a little glass barrier <laughs> around my bed so that way I do not fall off. What we're probably gonna do to save space hang a TV from, literally it looks like it's hanging from the tree. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. Okay, and now we are gonna do a little sofa. I think we'll go ahead and do a, a little sectional. We'll add plenty of seats so that me, my bestie Sophie, and maybe a few of our other friends can come and hang out, like Shane and Officer Rufus. I think that could be fun. Awesome. And over here, what I'm going to do, because we're outside slash inside, <laughs> we're going to add some plants. We need like a little spot too for like hanging up our jackets. So we need hooks. We are going to do a welcome mat. I mean, how cute is that? Here you go, babe. This does not look like the Hailey Bieber smoothie. I need the Hailey Bieber smoothie. But, but, babe, I, I, I promise you that is the Hailey Bieber smoothie. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. <gasps> Besties. Oh my gosh. Amber, Danielle. Hey, girlies. Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my gosh. Brenda, for the last time, like, we are not besties. Yeah, let's get out of here, Amber. Wait, so are you girlies coming to my house for a sleepover? Uh, we were thinking on it. Yeah, is Harry Styles really gonna be there? Oh, well, uh, I have to text him again, but Harry, my boyfriend, is really busy all the time. Right. Um, well, like, what on earth are you even wearing, Brenda? Looks like it's from that poor people store in Bloxburg. Yeah! <laughs> Ew! Did it come with fleas or? Uh, my outfit? Oh, uh, yeah. I've been meaning to fire my stylist. She was practically begging for me to hire her again. And I was like, no way, Brittany, you're trash. You stink at your job. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, come on. You don't know the difference between houndstooth and plaid. And you're supposed to be a stylist? Lame. What time is the sleepover and where is it at? It's at my own personal mansion at 6 p.m. You have your own mansion? Yeah, doesn't everyone? Later, girlies. I gotta go to the mall fast. I hope my mom didn't cancel her credit card after I stole it. All right, this little entry table is super, super cute. And I'm going to put this plant there. And then I'm for sure going to need some books. And I'm really going to go all out with plants. That's like the whole vibe. Let's throw in a mirror. Oh, that sunburst mirror is super cute. Okay, so I threw a fridge in here and that's a, literally about the only thing that fits. <laughs> but we are going to put a counter as well with a spot for a microwave because we, y'all, we at least need a microwave. And now I'm going to add a blender and an espresso machine. Let's add a fruit bowl. Cute. And I 
think I have a little bit of room to add like a shelf. On the shelf, we are gonna add these jars and a candy bowl. Awesome. It is time to use, not use the bathroom, make the bathroom. We're gonna put in this fancy corner shower. In the virtually no room that we have, we are gonna put this toilet. Now, time for a sink. But we need a good size mirror. Like we got our soap, we have our shampoo, which I'm gonna build, I think like a little shelf. And above the toilet on this shelf, we are going to put a body wash, a shampoo, now toothbrush. Here we go. Oh, and we're gonna need, definitely need some toothpaste because we don't want some crazy old breath. Nope, no thank you. And underneath, we are gonna put some extra towels. And I think to save space, we'll do the rolled towels. We totally have room for toilet paper over here. Perfect. We are gonna have to put a light in here though. I think we'll do this little fun chandelier. Okay, that is done. Our bathroom is good to go. Now, I think there might be a few more decals and stuff like that, and I might surprise you guys with something cute outside. So, let me finish that, and then I'll surprise you with a big tour. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for, the tiny house reveal, and I'm so excited. I cannot wait. So, here is the view from outside, which I think it kind of blends in. Yeah, just don't think about it. It's my sister Brenda we're talking about here and she's not the smartest. So we come up here to the front porch area and oh my gosh, guys, I thought this was so cute to have a little front porch swing. Then over here, I have my little lawn noob gnome guy. I've decided his name is Franklin and he is my best friend and he keeps part of my treehouse when I'm not here. Welcome to my treehouse. You can come on in, kick off your shoes, put on some slippers, turn on the TV, take a little cozy seat here on the sectional and watch the TV. I decided to do some string lights up above. And come on, let me show you the restroom. And we have everything we could possibly need, like a shower that works. And if we wanted to just take a little seat on the toilet, we got our toilet paper. Now let's go up the little loft stairs and get cozy. It is hard to see because it, it is a low ceiling, so you just have to watch your head. What is that noise? It's like blasting music from my house. You know what? Let's hop on those security cams and see what my sister is up to. Okay, I don't see anything out here or in the backyard. Wait, oh my gosh! Is she throwing like a crazy sleepover party with Amber and Danielle? Oh, this is crazy. Crazy, my mom and dad are gonna be so mad. What is she doing? Yeah, so this is my house. Pretty awesome, right? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love it. Yeah, this is so cool. I know. I mean, it's just like my starter mansion, but still, not too bad. So, where are the boys? Uh, boys? I figured this could be a girl's night. No, let's invite some boys over. Yeah, good idea. We can make fun of them and call them stupid like they do to me. Oh no, I gotta go over there and stop them. Brenda will be in huge trouble if she invites anyone else over to the house without mom and dad's permission. I gotta run fast. Brenda, open up. Okay, they're not answering the door for me, but I think I have an idea. All right, maybe this will work. Excuse me. Hey, you, Noah, no parties allowed this side of town. Brent, what the heck are you doing? You're ruining my reputation. Isn't that your stylist? I'm no stylist, I'm a police officer. Now get out before you're under arrest. I'm out of here. What a lame party, Brenda. We're an Audi. What? How could you do that? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna ruin, ruin your, your life. life. Oh, Brenda, Brenda. We're home. See, Brenda, told you. It was for your own good. And uh, on that note, I'm gonna go run and hide in my treehouse. Good luck explaining to mom and dad. Well, time to make some popcorn.